day. Well, if you've got a 360 and have been yearning for a return to glorious Tristram, this game might tide you over for a while. This is Torchlight, brought to you by Runic Games, with development headed up by some of the minds behind the dungeon-crawling classics Diablo and Fate. Torchlight was originally released on PC in 2009, and what you're seeing here is a port that's now available on Xbox Live Arcade since March of 2011. So yeah, it took a while. But this console-friendly version is probably a welcome addition to the library of any fan of action RPGs. Right off the bat, you'll probably notice that uh, this is basically a Diablo clone, with some design elements similar to other console hack and slashers like Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. But uh, before brushing this one off like it was a pesky kobold, they've made some really nice refinements to the experience. So the three character classes are what you would expect. Basically, it's a fighter, a mage, and a rogue, but with different names. But the in-depth customization of stat points, gear, and skill trees provide plenty of room to evolve your character in a variety of ways. You also get to keep a pet along with you during your journey that will help fend off enemies, can be fed weird fish to temporarily transform, and they'll even carry your unwanted loot back to town for you and bring back some cash. Aw, oh, that's a good little jigglypuff. Your pet has returned. And the gameplay is also pretty familiar territory for Diablo junkies out there. You'll traverse randomly generated areas, kill lots of stuff, gain XP, get loot, equip epic pants of wounding plus 24, and yeah, you get the idea. And if that bores you already, uh, move along. But if you're a fiend for a new gear that optimizes your destructive powers, Torchlight might get you hooked. The drop rate of items is pretty high, and there's a good variety of equipment to dig through, including socketed items and gems for further customization, merchants in town that will enchant or disenchant your stuff, and even new spells to be learned from dropped scrolls. Thankfully, the menu interface is really well designed to manage all of this as well, even after its alterations made for the Xbox. And luckily, you'll be doing all of this level grinding and questing with some really nice graphics to look at. The characters have a bit more of a cartoony look than usual, but it still works great, and the environments are drenched in atmosphere. And the real Diablo vibe comes from its music, bringing back the same composer from the original games. And just walking around in town immediately brings back great memories of my old stomping grounds in Tristram, kicking it with Kane and Griswold. I guess one thing that's not so memorable about Torchlight might be the story. I felt pretty disconnected from any kind of lore, and I was too busy questing and looting to get a feel for the backstories of any of the NPCs. Oh, and another downside for me was also the lack of any multiplayer at all. I've always thought rampaging through mobs of demons was way more fun with a buddy or two. But uh, if you're fiending for a quick dose of proper dungeon crawling and you can't stand to wait around for Diablo 3, Torchlight is like picking up an enchanted downloadable game of awesome plus four. 